All right, before we take a look at the pin, we're going to highlight today, just by way of introduction, I recently bought a few pins, and these, uh, I got a little bonus at work or whatever, and uh, so I bought a bunch to review. I thought they'd be nice pins to own and to also show you. So we looked at three number five or two number five nibs. We have the Jin Hao 95, and then we had the Hongdeon 1861 Pro, and it's the Black Forest. This is not the Max, this is just the 1861, not the 1860. Uh, kind of like the, maybe check out that 1860. All right, so we have those two. And then eventually, I have four number six nib pins, just as a teaser there. And then I have another nib that is a different style of nib, and we will take a look at that one later as well. <laughs> but today, I'm going to be showing you the Jin Hao 90. Two. Alrighty, let's take a tour of this Jin Hao 92. The price for this pen is around $12.50. Get it off of Amazon. Uh, it's going to be about a, a dollar more. The body of this pen, the cap, and all the mechanisms on it, <laughs> the finial, the clip, etc., as well as the body finial, that's all. Just a polished chrome, and on the cap, see if I can get that in focus there, on the cap is this little indentation, something kind of different, I guess, if you want something different. And there's the clip. The clip is, you know, it's, it's firm, but notice the arch there. It would go over a shirt pocket uh, or something uh, other thin material uh, very easily. Okay, and so there's the body finial, it has this knurled band around it, and then on the cap it just says Jin Hao, and unfortunately it doesn't have the 92 on the back. Too bad. Anyway, open it up. The body, this is kind of like I think it must be a plastic sleeve over uh, a brass interior, a brass tube, because it's, uh, you can hear that. Anyway, it's, a, it's hard. It's not, it's not soft like a rubber uh, or leather or anything like that, but it's got that diamond, uh, the diamond shape. So that's, you know, it's kind of neat, you know, almost the scales type type deal you have the the grip is a chrome grip and get this down and focused and you have these uh, threads here the threads and hardly let's just say no step down uh, because it's a nice easy transition uh, from the body to the grip now with the metal grip as they are oftentimes slippery and kind of a deal breaker for a lot of people, the way we, the way I hold this pen is my thumb is way up here. Yeah, this big fat fat thumb. <laughs> uh, just as a side note, I've had uh, I've had two comments on my thumbs with the shorts. One guy says, "Dude's thumb," yeah, <laughs> and then another one says, uh, "You know what happened to your thumbs?" <laughs> so. Part of it is genetics, and uh, the other other part is just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I call him my Bert and Ernie. There you go. Okay, so just, plus I think they're, he was asking what's wrong. Anyway, get those dry cracks. Okay, working hands, what can I say? All right, and then you have the nib. It's a number five nib, and it has the Jin Hao Chariot logo and Jin Hao underneath and then M for medium and around the back you see the plastic 
feet. All right, coming on the inside. These are metal threads here and metal threads on the interior. And then again, that's if you see down there, anyway, it's a brass, brass tube. Over here on the, this part of the threads, there is a small rubber O-ring. So I don't know if you want to eyedropper this pin or not, but at least you have an O-ring there uh, to help you out. We're going to be talking about, because I finished my one year uh, experiment. So anyway, another, another video. Okay, so we have the uh, converter here. This comes with the pin, has Jin Hao on the end there. And these are standard international converters and cartridges. The pin comes in, and I'll show you a picture here. It comes in a variety of colors. You have a full chrome uh, version, and then you have a chrome plated with the black plastic, as you see here. And then there's a, a full black. So I'm, I'm assuming it's probably uh, black chrome and probably this kind of barrel. Anyway, so it's all black. And then you have a red one. It's got, instead of the chrome, it has the gold finials. And then over here it has the same pattern, but it's in red. Again, the cap is threaded. So let's see how many turns to get it off. About one and a quarter. Is this pin postable? Yes, it is. And in fact, the plastic on the chrome uh, makes for a very a nice firm, you know, you're not getting this, this thing is not falling off. Um, however, it is uh, pretty back weighted because this is all metal and it posts quite high on the pin. So it's not going to be real deep. Uh, that would have been nicer if they would have made it to where it could post deep, but they didn't. Okay. So the dimensions from nib tip to body finial, it is 123 millimeters. The girth of the body is 11 millimeters capped the length is 130 134 millimeters posted it is somewhere around i got to get me a bigger ruler but it is somewhere around 160 millimeters the grip length from the top of those threads to uh, the top of the chrome part is 17 millimeters. The girth of the grip is 10.5 millimeters. The weight of this pin overall weight is 41, uh, 41 grams <laughs> and the body alone is 27 grams. So not a, not a light pin, but not a super heavy pin either. Okay. How about some size comparisons. All right, here we have the Jinhao 92, the Jinhao 95, Schaefer 100, and the Hongdeon 1861 Pro Black Forest. And here they are uncapped and posted. All right, how about a writing sample and then I will share some pros and cons and some final thoughts for this pen. All right, we have the, the Jin Hao 92 and medium, medium knit tip. And then the ink is Private Reserve.
blue suede. All right, the wetness of this. Not too bad. No hard starts, no skips. Keeps up pretty well. Now, this pin, along with the, um, the other number five nibs, I did go ahead and smooth them. So, for some reason, they just seemed a little bit on the, a little too much feedback for me. Now, as you, as you can tell right there, the downstrokes and left to right are kind of a bolder than the upstrokes and right to left so just the ink flows better that way i guess and a reverse writing very nice nice smooth line and it keeps up now when i smooth the nib i i usually i know it's kind of crazy but anyway i go ahead and smooth the uh the top of the nib tip as well for reverse writing and sometimes it it helps but there's still feedback but this one either that or I got the found the sweet spot but this one really writes nicely uh, reverse writing you don't you know it's not irritating at all so so there's my fine line okay nice pen Okay, pros and cons. Uh, what are some pros? Uh, it, it has a unique style, you know, with that uh, cap finial and the, the clip there. It's, I don't know if you would call this Art Deco, maybe. And then you have the knurls there on the clip and then the body finial as well. It would have been nice, I think, if they would have put uh, kind of that same indentation, at least a very shallow one, on the body finial. I think that would have really finished it off nice. But anyway, uh, the style is good. I think the diamond uh, wrap is uh, it's nice. It's not over overboard, but it gives it something besides just a straight uh, black finish there. It is a nice writer, as I showed in the, uh, told you in the writing sample. So I really like, like it. Uh, and the cost at uh, 13, let's say $13, I, I believe it's reasonable uh, for what you get. And um, if you like, again, if you like a heavier pen, this uh, will do you well. Uh, one con would be the metal grip. That's a deal breaker for some of you, but again, my thumb, comes up here so it really doesn't and then the body rests against my knuckle right there so it really doesn't want to slip at all but anyway it is what it is with all the chrome uh, kind of makes it a fingerprint magnet if you can deal with that uh, then you know that will be be okay I have a few pins like that and then another con is that because it posts, as I already mentioned, because it posts uh, not so deeply and it's way back there, uh, the pin to write posted is, you know, it's just too back weighted. But it should be big enough, I, I believe, for most people and to write with it unposted. Um, so as, uh, as final thoughts, uh, it's a uniquely styled pin, nice writer, uh, makes a nice desk pin, all right? Thanks a lot, and you have a great day.